Apparently, it's no fun filming Outlander. Oh, come on. Katrina and Sam, they always bring the fun. From having the giggles... <laughs> we giggle a lot. ...to forgetting their lines and composure. I can't be two things at once, clear. A motorcyclist and... <laughs> Plus, their on-set survival tips and more. Earplugs for when Sam's like... <laughs> Who wouldn't want to crack a joke around this bunch? <laughs> yeah! Talking about the fun factor, Sam and Kat bring it. <laughs> but does the rest of the cast find their antics funny? Unfortunately, I think we're the only people that giggle now. I think everyone else is just tired of our, our stupidity. Oh, come on. That can't be true. Or is there someone? Although it does annoy me when them two are out jabbering away and it's on my shot, and I'm like, come on, guys, actors are performing. It's pretty clear John Bell is only teasing. And there's no shortage of humor here. Do you want to do a bit of acting first? So you, yeah, you do a bit of your acting first. All right, I'll do a bit of acting. <laughs> the other cast members really try to be serious, but sometimes it's just impossible. I've invented something. Oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> Lost the way it is. Lauren Lyle's laughter is infectious. Hey folks, here we go. Here we go. Two, one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. She's not the only one who brings the fun. When asked who's most likely to crack a joke during filming, it was a toss-up between several actors. I think probably John Bell. He's great. Definitely John. Like, every scene that I do with him, I'm just hysterically laughing to the point, which is, like, probably really annoying. Kat also made the fun list. Katrina has the most contagious laugh, so once Katrina's set off, that it doesn't matter what the joke is, everyone's crippled then. <laughs> Another cast member likes trying to lighten the mood, but he's not always successful. Probably Richard. They're not very funny. They're very, like, dad jokes. Richard is the most likely to crack a really bad joke while we're filming. Long before Rankin joined the cast, Hewan had a naughty secret. I have to say, Sam has the best ability Contagious. to set yeah. somebody else off. Oh, that's not true. But then keep himself controlled. <laughs> yeah. He might deny it, but somehow we think he's guilty as charged. And then blame me, because he'll do something that'll set me right off, and then we'd go, and then just give a perfect take. Well, it looks like Hewan also loses at his own composure game. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes Sam forgets more than just his straight face. He insists that no one ever forgets their lines. Hopefully we will all know our lines, because we're all professionals. We smell a rat. I have not spent any time in a house for many a month. <laughs> Sam forgetting his lines makes everyone burst out laughing. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. And he's not the only one stumbling over his words. Feels like nothing. That's what's so brilliant about it because I can't remember the line. At least Balf and Lauren Lyle can also laugh at themselves. Who lives in a brothel? I don't know what the rest of that line is. Sorry, do you want anything Oh my gosh, I've totally... <laughs> One thing's for sure, Rankin gave himself away in one interview. Learning your lines and not having to stress out that you're going to screw up your scene because you stayed up too late last night playing games when you should have been learning your lines, which is something that I never do, by the way. Apart from forgetting lines, the Outlander cast doesn't always manage to keep a straight face. Well, on the contrary, Lord Pelham's <laughs> Not even serious scenes are safe. I'm scared all of us. <laughs> Just don't do that again. <laughs> Here's Hewan getting his words all mixed up. We'll bury him tonight. In the company alone. We'll lay him to rest. Tonight. Let's just do this again. <laughs> Richard couldn't keep it together in one scene with Sophie. Can you blame him though? I think I just burped in your face, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe Sophie was just getting back at Rankin for eating fish before kissing scenes. When the cast are remembering their lines, sometimes their props won't play along. Young Ian's John takes his acting so seriously that he lost something very important. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> 
John isn't the only one who has had troubles with his headwear. Sophie once returned from lunchtime with her wig kind of hanging off. She basically comes out of her trailer like a zombie. Turns out she was just trying to have a nap. Apparently, poor Sophie and Kat can't have snoozes, and their wigs and corsets are to blame. Some of the cast members don't have such things holding them back, though. I do enjoy a little lunchtime nap, yes. Clearly, acting is tiring work, but some things make it all worth it, like Kat's onset must have. Tall Ginger Scott to take the piss out of. On a serious note, the cast puts in long hours in the heart of winter. So they've figured out some handy onset survival tips. Little booty warmers, you can get little things in the bottom of your boot that keeps your, your toes warm. The cold is a running theme. Never say no to thermals. Don't be trying to be brave here. Get those layers on. They will save your life at 4 o'clock in the morning on a January night. One must-have hasn't changed a bit over the years. Coffee. 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 Coffee and green tea. Coffee. Black coffee. Double espressos. Triple espressos. Caffeine. Have I said caffeine? When this bunch is properly caffeinated, they tear up laughing at some of their scenes. For two guys who play mortal enemies, Chris Larkin and Hewen won at the banter game. They analyzed their scenes and figured out it's not really that versatile. We always stand and stare at each other. It's like a stare out. That's all we ever do. Yeah. We kind of squint at each other. <laughs> all the squinty squinty going on. Chris also had great insight into his character's true motivations. You have the nicest house. You've actually and I come think to the house. Made, I think he has. He's yeah. got an eye on he says, the rocking chair with name on it on your porch. <laughs> the Browns house. The Browns house. He's painted Brown though. It's going to become, yeah, Browns Ridge. Sam also had an interesting choice when it comes to memorable moments. Yeah, the shootout was so fun and almost like a western. A lot of guns and glass breaking and people running around. But it's safe to say Jessica Reynolds wins this one. Her choice is just too weird, but funny. When I was dead on the floor, um, it was a really sunny day and I just got to sunbathe all day while I watched Kat and Sam and Mark and Alex just act around me. Lauren's most memorable scene was certainly an interesting choice. My favourite scene was definitely the birth. That was a whole day of women that had had kids saying, yeah, yeah, no, that's what it's like. <laughs> Which reminds us, our leading lady, Katrina, was hiding something during season six. Four, five, six months pregnant, right towards the end when we were doing all the action stuff. Yes, Kat was pregnant for most of the filming. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Now that Balf is a mom herself, she has some good advice for Marsley. But maybe she should just stop having so many babies for a little while. Well, the rest of the actors totally agree, and maybe they have a point. Stop having children. Lighten the load. Um, get a dog. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Talking about the little ones, it's not always easy filming with them. A little baby and then another one who is like a raucous little teenager in a five-year-old's body. So today's mainly been about handling that and it's been great. No one's stressed. It's fine. It's great. It's great. She doesn't seem stressed at all. They'll be good actors. As soon as Patrick says action, they start screaming, absolute murder. And then when he yells cut, they're like, fine. Well, at least Hewen doesn't find it difficult filming with kids at all. Sam loves filming with the children, don't it's, you, Sam? Uh, it's one of my favorite, <laughs> favorite scenes to be in. <laughs> See, that was good acting. Thank you. The cast might complain, but they really love the little ones. Sophie admits she enjoyed seeing how much the kids had grown over the years. Talk about the best and funniest cast ever, right? <laughs> we can't believe that season eight has been confirmed as the last one. It's been a magical experience, and we look forward to seeing the actors one last time. All right, let's take a little walk down memory lane. Look, that's us looking that's really happy us. on Sleepy the Horse. Sleepy the Horse. We liked each other then, look. <laughs> Share in the comments below who's your favorite Outlander character. And if you're dying to know more about the cast's real life partners, check out our video on Season 7's cast, RLP. Wishing you all the best. Lots of love. <laughs>